hope you've had a great holiday week. We're back to basketball. The Maryland Terrapins hosting the UMBC Retrievers. Sometimes that can be a little frustrating because you expect things to be easy. This UMBC team quick to the catch and also helps out rotation is there. Forcing a turnover, corner three for Lamar is good. Arkell Lamar can certainly shoot the three. The guy they call Checo. Now a chance for Maryland to take the lead. Wiley for the lead, got it. Cowan, a deep three, got it. Back to back threes hit by the Terps as they now lead 11 to seven. Bruno Fernando gives a huge presence in there in the paint. And Bender again with a push off. No call here. Turner with the dunk. Wow. That was a sneaky dunk because I didn't expect him to explode like that. Ties to keep Lyles out of the paint. Mora for three. Got it. Coming from the floor. Skip past the corner. Bender putting it on the floor with the left, gets it to go. Yvonne Bender showing off his skill set. UMBC by nine to open up the second half. It's Maryland ball. Alley oop for Herder. Perfect execution out of a timeout. That was a design play in the perfect lob. Come on, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. Here's Herder, who's been hot for three. Got it again. Kevin Herder is carrying this team now on his back. The three is short by Grant. The look ahead pass for Marcel, but a dunk. Cowan Jr., the kick out to the corner. Jared Nickens for three. Fernando, the offensive rebound. The pump back, got it, and the foul. He just wanted that more in his size and athleticism down low. No one can match up with that. Maryland will take this one by the score of 66 to 45. They got it. Let's let's find out the thoughts of their head coach, uh, Mark Turgeon, who joins us right now live here on FS1. First of all, congratulations, coach. Uh, once again, the first half didn't go quite as uh, you guys had hoped, uh, but got the job done in the second half. What went so right in the second half that didn't go right uh, in that first half? Well, we just played harder. We played with more energy. Um, you know, we got after him pretty good at halftime. You know, I was thinking at halftime, I gave him five days off, and that was probably too many. <laughs> and we were out of it. We just weren't, we were, we were terrible. It was probably one of the worst first halves we've played since I've been at Maryland. And then I just thought, you know, I felt good to be down six. They missed a lot of open shots for us. In the second half, we were just dominant defensively. I thought Bruno and Checo did a great job of protecting the rim. We played shots. They missed some open ones that they normally make, but. I thought we were really good defensively. Coach, what's up? It's Jimmy Jackson. Congrats on the victory. I'm sure you had a nice halftime speech, especially for Kevin Herter. We talked huh. the Butler game when I was there about how good this young man could be. 16 points in the second half. He could do a little bit of everything. Is this what you come to expect going into Big Ten season, the kind of performance from Kevin Herter? Yeah, I mean, Kevin's terrific. I just got to do a better job of getting him more looks, get the ball in his hands more. Uh, we were trying to do more ball screen stuff with him, but I got to get some more, you know, get him more involved. I think if I can do that as a coach, we'll be a better team. But he was terrific. He made shots. He got us going. Uh, and I thought he was great defensively. I thought he rebounded well, too. So uh, we didn't have a lot of a lot of bench guys. We had some foul troubles and, 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 and different things happening tonight. But uh, – Guys were really good in the second half. Uh, you, you move on now. You get back in the Big Ten play, and you got to do that, of course, uh, uh, without one of your stars in Justin Jackson. This is his uh, fourth straight game that he's missed. Now that you know uh, that he is out for the season, how does your team adjust to uh, having to play the rest of the season without him? Well, you know, I don't know. We just kind of winged it tonight. You know, we were making things up as we went. Um, and, um, you know, you know, I'm concerned about even Bender. He hurt his knee tonight. We don't know what, what it is right now. Um, that would you know, limit us even, even more. So we'll have to play some small lineups. You know, we're going to be really small. Um, or we can go really big with Bruno and Checo together maybe. So i got to figure it out. We've got a few days before we play Penn State. Coach, you're used to turning stuff around quickly from your NBA days, especially when you coach me <laughs> at Philadelphia. So I'm sure you'll get it all together heading into Big Ten play. All right, thanks, guys. You got Happy it. New Year, guys.